Hey everyone, it's Lisa Mears here, and today I'm back again with another Christmas card using some products from Pretty Pink Posh's brand new holiday release. And this time I'll be making a stocking shaker card. You all know how I love to make shaker cards, and I love when Pretty Pink Posh releases these shaker dies, and this stocking shaker is no exception. So here's a look at the stocking shaker die set. The stocking measures about about four inches tall and there's also a Christmas tree die that's included in this stocking. Now you don't have to just use that stocking for a shaker, you can use it for a regular stocking that's not a shaker as well. I'm also going to be using the Winter Words stencil. This is a six by six stencil and has the words Merry and Bright, Jolly Holly, and joy and those words are in a repeating pattern throughout that entire stencil. I'll also be using the Jolly Santa mix. This mix has some white, red, and greens in it. There's some little clay confetti pieces that look like peppermints as well as snowmen. It's so cute. So I'll be using this for the shaker pieces for my stocking. I'm also going to be bringing in the Build a Gift dies. These are not new. Pretty Pink Posh has had these for quite a while, but these are dies that will make some presents and there's some bows and ribbon that you can die cut to wrap around your presents. So I will be using all of these products today and I will have them linked down in the description box below in case you're interested in finding out more. I always appreciate when you use my links because it does help support me. I will also have a coordinating blog post on my blog and you'll see the blog post link down in the description box as well. So I'm starting out with a piece of white cardstock that I cut to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. I went ahead and put the stencil over my cardstock and I'm holding it down with magnets and I'm going to use some Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to use three different inks because I wanted to create rows of three different color inks and I'm starting with Cracked Pistachio. I'm using some scrapbook.com mint tape to mask off the rows on the top and bottom of the row that I'm inking. That way I'm sure that I don't spread that current ink color to the top or bottom rows. I'm only getting that ink color on the row that I'm currently inking. So this ink color is candied apple and I'm just using a finger dauber to press that ink into the openings of the stencil and once that row is complete I will remove the mint tape and move it to the next rows. So this next row that I'm inking with is pine needles. So I have a lighter green ink, again that's cracked pistachio. I have the red ink, which is candied apple, and then the darker green is pine needles. So after I ink up the joy row with the pine needles ink, I decide that instead of going to the lighter green ink, because I didn't want to have two green inks back to back, I'm going to ink up this next row with the red, which is the candied apple. So I'll ink that one up and then I will come back and use the cracked pistachio. So I'll go light green, red, dark green, red, light green, red, and in that order. So there will always be the red ink between the greens. And while I'm inking this stencil up, I do want to let you know that this card that I'm making is part of a pretty pink posh Instagram hop where you have a chance to win a gift certificate to the Pretty Pink Posh store if you participate in that hop. So if you have Instagram, I encourage you to head over to my Instagram page at Lisa Mears Designs and find the post that corresponds to this card and you'll find all of the details in the description of that post. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stencil because I'm done adding the ink and take a look at what this looks like. I love that multicolor design. 
it looks so festive. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to work on the presents. So again, this is the Build a Gift die set. I've already die cut the base of the presents out of some dark green, light green, and red cardstock. And I'm just inking up the edges of the cardstock with some ink to add some more depth to those presents. I started off using the same inks that I used with the stencil, but I wasn't really getting good coverage with that ink on the colored cardstock. So I switched over to my scrapbook.com hybrid ink and I'm using the Cardinal Red and the Pine ink. So I'm just adding green ink to the green cardstock, red ink to the red cardstock, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this polka dot piece to the solid red square. And then I'm going to add some ribbon to the solid dark green piece. Now I am using a shorter ribbon, but I'm going to cut the bottom part off of this present because these presents are going to be placed inside the stocking and I really don't need all of that extra cardstock at the bottom of that present. I don't need a long present, I just needed a short one so that I can pop that in to the stocking. Here I'm adding the bows to the tops of the presents and now I'm ready to make my stocking shaker. So I used the stocking die and die cut a piece of pattern paper. It's that green plaid. It cuts out two pieces just like you see there. And I also cut out a piece of solid red cardstock. And a little bit later, I am going to be cutting another piece of the green pattern paper, and you'll see that here in just a moment. So here I'm just placing the presents in the stocking. I just want to get a good placement on my card to see how far down I need that stocking to be on the card front. So I'm just placing everything there how I want it to be on the card once it's glued down. And once I have everything where I want it, I'm gonna start by just gluing the presents underneath the top of the stocking. Next, I'm gonna glue the inside piece of the stocking to the card front. So you can see if you wanted to make this a stocking without a shaker, you can just glue the rest of it down. I'm gonna make this a shaker, and to make a shaker, you need to attach this top piece with some foam and some acetate. But I wanna point out here that if I add some foam underneath the stocking, that I might actually still be able to see some of that stencil through the sides if I don't get it on there exactly perfect. So in order to fix this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach this piece to my card and just have the stocking, as you see it, just glued to that card front, and then I'll die cut another stocking shaker and I will use that as my top cover piece with the foam. Now because I chose to use a piece of pattern paper with some stripes on it, I have to make sure that I get my pattern paper to cut exactly how I had it when I adhered it to the card. So what I'm gonna do here is just lay my die on a piece of the cardstock that I actually already cut through and line it up with an identical piece of pattern paper to make sure that I cut out the same exact pattern in the same place. So hopefully that makes sense. And the whole point of doing this is because once I get this stocking outline, I wanna make sure all of those stripes line up with the inside piece of that stocking. Now, if you were to have die cut the stocking with a solid piece of cardstock, you wouldn't have to do that. You can just die cut it without trying to line up your die. Okay, so now I am going to add glue to the back of that stocking outline shape, and I'm going to add that shape to a piece of acetate because this is going to be the cover for the shaker. Once that is adhered, I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm just going to trim along the edge of that stocking to remove all of the excess acetate.
Next, I'm going to turn that stocking over with the acetate and I'm going to take out my foam strips and I'm going to add foam strips along all of the edges of the stocking. So I'll go along the entire outline and I love these foam strips because they actually move with the curve in the die cut. Now I'm going to take the same foam strips and I'm just going to put some foam along the top of the stocking and I'm going to put a piece of foam along the bottom scallop part of that stocking so that all the shaker bits will be contained within all of those foam borders. Next I'm going to add the clay confetti mix inside the bottom portion of the stocking so it's going to be directly on the card front, making sure that I don't get any of the clay confetti up in the top fold part of the stocking. I also want to make sure that all of that clay confetti is pushed towards the center and that I don't have any along the edges of that stocking. And then once I have everything in place, I will go ahead and remove the backing from the foam. And then I will add the cover right on top of the stocking. So just press it down to get a good seal. And the last thing I want to do here for this stocking is I'm going to take the red stocking that I die cut and I'm just going to cut the bottom part off of the die cut and just going to use the top part with the scallop and I'm going to ink up the edges to add some depth to this piece and then I'm going to go ahead and glue that right on top. So if you wanted to add two different colors here this is how you would do it or you can just leave it as it, it was with the one color with the pattern paper but I think adding that red up there at the top it gives a nice contrast. So I also die cut the word joy out of some silver glitter cardstock and I'm going to put it here at the top of the stocking. Now this word is from the Holiday Mug Editions die set which I actually did not show that in this video but I do have a whole card tutorial using that die set that I recently posted to my YouTube channel. So now I'm going to go ahead and add that entire layer to a piece of red cardstock that I cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. That red just brings out the red in the stocking and in the stencil background. And then I'll add that to an A2 size card. And that will complete my card. So I hope you liked this card today. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember that all supplies will be linked in the description box of this YouTube video. And don't forget to hop along the Instagram hop for a chance to win a gift certificate to the Pretty Pink Posh store. Just head over to my Instagram at Lisa Mears Designs to find out more information. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.